Ryan Scott, Cooking with Scuttle. I'm on location at the picturesque Williamson's Farm in Vermont to learn all about sweet, sweet sorghum from my friends, John and Melissa. We're here with John Williamson and we're at Williamson's Farm. And what are we talking about today? Uh, making sweet sorghum here. It might look like we're making maple syrup here, but this is very different, different flavor, <laughs> different uses, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. It's more like a, uh, molasses, but uh, or uh, consistency of a honey. It's thicker than maple syrup. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it's a real popular product down in the south. Uh, mm -hmm. Tennessee, Kentucky, they make a lot of it. It's their maple syrup down there, but there's oh, very cool. few people uh, in the northeast. Actually, I think I'm the only one in the northeast that makes it that I know That's of. That's cool. Usually sorghum ripens about the same time the leaves are at their peak. Um, usually a frost uh, will kill the plant and that's when it's time to harvest it. Yeah, so Melissa and I are going to go up in the field and she's going to show us how to harvest some sorghum. So you're just taking the leaves off? We've taken the leaves off because they are useless in the milling process. Cut them off there and you take the heads off. And there you go. All right, so we've got some sorghum cane here, huh? Very yep. cool. Get these out of here. Yep. All right. And then I just hack these down. Yep. Cut away from yourself. Good job. All right. I, I can teach you how to twist the slurp to know that it's at its prime. Let's do it. So you want to break it right in between where the two things are, and you I bend it. I can see it. the, uh, the yep. sugar so you, leaking already. Exactly. So you're gonna. I'm gonna let you do it. You're gonna twist it and let it drip down on your tongue. Does it taste nice and sweet? Yeah. It's, you can taste the sweetness, but it's not overly sweet. And it's a really good way to test when it's ready because if it tastes like green pea juice, it's not ready yet. Should we? Uh, go boil these down now. Okay, so we grow the plant, we plant it in the spring. It's a little bit like mixing, uh, you know, farming and sugaring together. We, yeah. we, you know, we grow a crop of uh, corn I, or uh, cane. I've got about maybe an acre growing this year and that'll produce about somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 gallons. 60 gallons? We grow it uh, just like you would corn in rows uh, and then let it uh, ripen up. We squeeze the juice out of it. I got a 110 year old cane mill out there that I, I, I squeeze That's the juice cool. out with. Uh, and then we boil it down. It's uh, it's real important to boil it properly. You know, you got to skim the, the pans all the time, so you know, end up with a nice get mild... all the starches and stuff off. Or... Yeah, so you end up with a nice mild, you know, light tasting syrup. Yeah, it's easy to make bad sorghum. Oh, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, Very you got to cool. be on your toes when you're making sorghum. Yeah, it's uh, easy to make maple syrup. Yeah. So it has to cool to a certain uh, degree, like 150 degrees, and then we can can it. Uh, into uh, uh, you know retail containers. Maple's so, still my favorite. That is it. But yeah. uh, sorghum has a lot of uses. It's really nice to bake with and uh, nice. base meats and uh, cookie recipes and uh, breads and those sort of things. Hey, so, well, thank you very much for showing us this info. This is awesome stuff. I can't wait to try it out. Sure. Food porn. <laughs> <laughs>